Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and today I'm partnering with Name Hero Web Hosting to bring you this step-by-step -step tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create a subdomain and then add it to Cloudflare. And using Cloudflare for your subdomain is like giving it a supercharge. It helps your site's content get to users a lot faster thanks to a worldwide network and some cool tech like advanced caching and a powerful CDN. Now pair that up with Name Hero's cloud web hosting. Name Hero makes sure that your site is running smoothly and securely and together, Cloudflare and Name Hero make your website strong, fast, and reliable. It's not just about making your site look good, it's about giving visitors a great experience and keeping everything secure and running properly. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna take you through the process of creating a subdomain in Name Hero and adding a CNAME record for that subdomain in Cloudflare. I'll then show you how to quickly install WordPress on that subdomain and then set up a firewall rule in Cloudflare to check that the subdomain's traffic is going through Cloudflare. It's a simple test to ensure that everything is set up correctly. And as you're watching this video, Name Hero has a helpful blog post that walks you through this process. And I'll link to it in the video description below, but it's a great reference if you need some extra clarification on how to set things up. Finally, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. It helps me bring you guys more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So the first step in the process is to create the subdomain at your web host. And I'm using Name Hero Cloud Web Hosting, obviously. And the way I'll create the new subdomain is within my cPanel. But I should point out that this cPanel we're about to use is specific to Name Hero. So if you're using a different web host than Name Hero, the steps we're about to cover may be a little different on your end, but you should still be able to get by. Okay, so from your Name Hero dashboard or wherever you access your cPanel, go ahead and log into your cPanel. Then from here, find the domain section and click on domains. This will bring you to your domain management menu where you can obviously manage and add new domains to your account. So from here, within the upper right corner of that screen, just click the create a new domain button. And then next you'll simply type the domain that you want to create in the field provided. And we're creating a subdomain, so I'll type blog.demoblogtime.com. And there we go. Then below that, you'll see an option to share the document root of the primary domain. I recommend keeping that box unchecked and then specifying the directory in the field below. And I'm just keeping the new directory for the subdomain as blog.demoblogtime.com, but feel free to change it here if needed. All right, once everything is filled out, go ahead and click the Submit button. And in a few seconds, just give it a little time to do its thing. You'll get a notification that the new subdomain has been created and added to your hosting account. You'll now see it listed here within your domains. Okay, the next step in the process is to create the CNAME record in Cloudflare. So let's head over to my Cloudflare account where I've already added my domain to Cloudflare, but if you haven't done so already, all you'll do is click the Add Site button and then you'll enter the site that you wanna associate with Cloudflare and then select your plan. They have a free plan, that's what I'm using in this tutorial. And after you select the free plan, all you'll need to do is update your domain's name servers with the Cloudflare name servers that they give you after signing up. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through that process of updating your name servers in this video because depending on your web host or domain registrar, the steps to update the name servers will vary. But if your domain is registered with Name Hero, they have a great article that walks you through the process of updating the name servers that I'll link to in the video description below. But once your domain's name servers have been updated to the Cloudflare name servers, the DNS records and web traffic will all go through Cloudflare. All right, so once your site has been added to Cloudflare, the next step is to add the CNAME record for the subdomain. So first things first, access your site within Cloudflare. Then within the sidebar menu on the left-hand side of the screen, open the DNS tab, and this will take you to your DNS management page where you can manage the DNS records of your domain and do things like add new records, which is what we're going to do. So towards the right corner there, click the Add Record button. And then you'll be presented with a few fields. 
First, you'll want to select the type of record, and for this example, we're creating a CNAME record. So from that drop down, select CNAME. Next is the name, and all you'll type here is the first part of the subdomain. So our new subdomain was blog.demoblogtime.com, so the name will be just the word blog. Then the target is the primary domain, so here I'll type demoblogtime.com. Next, keep the proxy status turned on, and then click the Save button. Then in a few seconds, the new CNAME record for the subdomain will be added to the list, and traffic is now flowing through Cloudflare. But we're not done yet. I want to take this a step further and actually demonstrate that this is working and that Cloudflare is proxying the traffic. So what I'm going to do is install WordPress on the new subdomain and then set up a firewall rule and block all traffic to that subdomain. Again, this is just to test and ensure that the traffic is being proxied and the CNAME in Cloudflare is working. Plus, you'll get to see how easy it is to install WordPress through NameHero. So with that being said, let's head back to my NameHero account. And one of the many reasons why I love NameHero is that they make the WordPress installation process super simple and fast with their one-click WordPress installation. It's all handled in your cPanel, and going forward, once you know how to do this, you can create multiple sites in a matter of minutes with their WordPress installer. Okay, so we're currently in the domain section of the cPanel, but you can access the WordPress installation tool anywhere within your cPanel here on the sidebar menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Simply click on where it says WordPress Manager by Softaculous, and this will bring you to the one-click WordPress installer. This is where you'll install WordPress on your domains, but it's also where you can manage a lot of the various aspects of your WordPress sites, like logging into WordPress, creating a staging environment, creating backups, running updates, and even uninstalling WordPress. It really gives you complete control over your WordPress sites, and I'm a huge fan of it. Okay, so to get started, click the Install button to install a fresh copy of WordPress. And this will open the installer where you'll need to configure a few things before officially installing WordPress on the subdomain. So for starters, you'll need to choose the installation URL, and this is telling WordPress what domain you'll want to essentially display on. So under the Choose Installation URL section, make sure you have HTTPS selected in the first dropdown, and then select the domain that you want to install WordPress on. And again, we're installing WordPress on the blog.demoblogtime.com subdomain, so I'll select that one from the list. Then I recommend leaving the directory blank, and then the last dropdown is the version of WordPress. Currently 6.3.2 is the most up-to-date version, so we'll just leave that as is. And the installation for our subdomain is ready to go. Then below that are some additional settings that you can configure. But for the sake of time, the only thing I'm changing here is the admin email. So if you look in the admin account section, this is where you'll find the username and password that will be used to log into WordPress. So I recommend saving these in a safe place like a Google Doc or maybe you write your passwords down somewhere. Either way, save these for a safekeeping. Then below that is your admin email. And by default, it will use admin at yourdomain.com, but that isn't a real email, so you'll need to change this to an actual email address that you want to associate with your WordPress account. So go ahead and update the admin email here in that field, and you can always change this admin email address within your WordPress dashboard after the installation, just FYI. And then for the sake of time, I'm leaving everything else as is, so I'll scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click the Install button. And then the installer will get to work and start installing WordPress on our new subdomain. Then in a few moments, you should get a notification alerting you that the installation was a success, as well as showing you the URL where WordPress was installed and your admin URL. This is another way to log into WordPress if you need to, but you can always log in via Softaculous as well here in NameHero. But again, this admin URL is also used as a way to log into your WordPress dashboard. So feel free to save this somewhere for future use if you want to. Then when we click on the admin URL, It'll take us to our new WordPress dashboard, confirming that the installation was a success. And then when we visit the front end of the site, you'll see that a theme has been installed as well, and we are in business. WordPress is now working on our subdomain. Okay, next I want to verify that the traffic to this subdomain is being proxied by Cloudflare. So let's head back to Cloudflare. And again, as you can see, our new CNAME record for the subdomain is now housed in the DNS records for demoblogtime.com. Perfect. 
Next, let's make sure it's working and proxying the traffic. And as I mentioned earlier, the way I'm gonna do that is to create a new firewall rule in Cloudflare that blocks all traffic to the subdomain. Now, you obviously probably don't wanna block all traffic all the time, but this is just a test to show that the new CNAME record is working and that we're proxying the new subdomain's web traffic through Cloudflare. So within your Cloudflare account on the left-hand side of the screen, click on security, and this will take you to the security events dashboard. Then from here, I'm gonna create a custom rule. So go ahead and click on that link that says create custom rule. Then the first thing you're required to do here is to give your rule a name. And I'm calling this block blog subdomain traffic. Next, we'll set up the rule. So below there within the if incoming request match section, there will be three fields. And that first one is a drop down. Go ahead and click on it and select host name. Then next to that, keep the operator set to equals. And then for the value, enter the subdomain. This is basically saying that if incoming requests or traffic hit the subdomain, our firewall will block it. Then finally, we need to tell Cloudflare to block the traffic. So below that, within the Choose Action dropdown, select Block. And there we go. Then click the Deploy button. And in a few seconds, you'll see the new custom firewall rule listed here in the Security Web Application Firewall Dashboard. And by default, it will be enabled. You could tell by that green switch. Then if we head back to my WordPress site that's using the subdomain, and then when I refresh the page, you'll see that the request is now being blocked by Cloudflare's firewall, which you can obviously tell by this huge blocking notification. Then to unblock the traffic, simply head back to Cloudflare and within the security WAF dashboard, find the custom firewall rule and simply flip that switch off. This disables the firewall and all traffic can now flow to the desired subdomain. And as you could see, when we refresh the page, we can now access the site's content. Again, you probably don't want to block all traffic, but you can create a firewall that's more in line with your needs, like blocking known security threats or spam. And there you have it. You've just successfully created a subdomain in Cloudflare, a simple yet significant step towards organizing and optimizing your online presence. This not only enhances your website structure, but also improves its security and performance, ensuring that each part of your site runs smoothly and is protected from potential threats. And by following the steps we've walked through today, you've opened doors to various possibilities, whether it's for creating a blog, a store, or any specific section on your website without affecting the main domain. Cloudflare and Name Hero's robust infrastructure make sure that your subdomain is always accessible, fast, and secure. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn more about Name Hero WordPress cloud web hosting, check out these two videos. They'll walk you through everything you need to know and show you why Name Hero has become my number one choice for WordPress web hosting. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.